Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Psycho Lane, I'm your host. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my bicycle and the general overview of it. Now, I'm going to mention something about the price of it because there are those out there who think or who would wonder for recommendation of what price would be good for a bicycle or what would be a decent bicycle at which price for me to get so that way it doesn't fall apart on me when I try to ride on it. Well, some people will say uh, a grand, two grand, five grand, or ten grand, and I'm pretty sure they have their reasons for saying that. However, in my perspective and in my opinion, and also in my experience, you do not need a $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 bicycle. Even cheap bikes can be good as well. I mean, for the love of Pete, this is the cheapest bike that I had owned. Um, I owned this one before that one, and then after I bought that one, I gave this one to my roommate. This bike was given to me for free, which is why I say it's the cheapest bike I've ever owned so far. But, uh, not being free, so it's the cheapest bike I've ever owned, period. But, uh, it's a fixie thruster. And it's a single-speed bicycle. What I don't like about fixi fixie thrusters or specifically single-speed bicycles, I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody else besides me. So I'm pretty sure everyone else has their own opinion about their own things. But based on my experience, therefore my by my opinion, single-speed bicycles suck for one. Headwinds and head along with sidewinds and sidewinds suck when you're riding a single speed bicycle because it's hard for me to actually pedal against it. Therefore I went looking for a bicycle that was a speed bicycle and one towards of course one that I thought would be cool looking so and this one here actually uh, fit the bill for a couple of things. For the first thing it's black. That's one of three of my favorite colors and it's also got silver on it. That's another of my favorite colors, which is why I wear my helmets. Not the only reason why I wear my helmet, but it's also why I wear my helmet. Because my helmet actually has all three of my favorite colors. Black, red, and silver. So that's why I like to wear it. Otherwise, if it, even if it was a different kind of color and it had nothing associated with black, red, or silver, I'd still wear it. Because I like, the, I like safety for my head. So, again, not required to wear a helmet where I'm at, but I, like, but I prefer to wear it anyways. It might make me look goofy, retarded, stupid, whatever. But that goofy, retarded, stupid keeps me safe. So that's all I care about in that part there. And uh, my bicycle has two of the three of my favorite colors. It's got black and silver. However, it is also green. I don't care for green. But it actually works out pretty well with this bicycle. Well, that's one of the reasons why I chose it. And then another reason why I chose it is because some of you know me from like my Devil Hunter channel and uh, some other channels that I have. Uh, such as Gothic Ministry, and also my RL Real Writing. Um, all three of those are my channels. This is not a channel shout-out. Um, those of you who know me know that I'm spiritual. I wouldn't say religious. I mean, technically, yeah, I'm religious, but I consider myself spiritual because I consider myself an open-minded believer in God. I follow God and Scripture to the best of my ability without claiming anything of Judaism or Christianity or, or Islam. But my point being is, this is a Genesis type of bicycle. And Genesis caught my attention because, of course, it is the first book in the Holy Bible, the King James Version. And so because of that, and that's one of the things that caught my attention first, actually. It being black was the second thing that caught my attention, but I saw the name of it. It's like, Genesis, cool! Genesis is the Bible, so. But as far as the kind of bike this is, again, it is a Genesis RCT all-terrain 21-speed front shock bicycle. That's exactly, that's exactly the kind of bicycle this is. And I absolutely love it. And of course, not everything on here is original parts anymore. And that's actually one of the reasons uh, that I decided to do all my uh, parts reviews before giving the overall thing so y'all can know what I have on there. And if you guys have any ideas, had any ideas, or have any ideas what you want to do to your bicycle, then hopefully the videos I show uh, give you some... Hey, that looks, that's a cool idea. I think I'll do that or might do that. Well, cool. I like that idea, but I'll probably do something differently. doesn't matter to me. 
Uh, whatever you want to do is your bicycle. So what you want to do is your, your bicycle. And if uh, by you know, me showing you my videos of what I do to, with my bicycle gives you some motivation or some different ideas or alternative uh, different kinds of thoughts for your ideas, then, hey, I'm happy to help. So, but that's just what I decided to do for my bicycle as well as maybe giving you some ideas as well. And uh, also, back to the part of you don't need an expensive bicycle. I bought mine from Walmart October 31st, 20 of something or another, 2019, and only bought it for $189.44. It is not a luxuriously expensive bicycle. It is not a grand, it is not two grand, it's not five or ten grand. It's just a simple bicycle. It has to be from point A to point B. Point A to point B, meaning from my place to my job and my job back to my place. And then occasionally point C, which is like to a grocery store to buy some groceries. So this thing serves every purpose that I need. So I got no, I got no problem with it and whatnot. So for being a cheap bicycle, yes, even I recommend buying a cheap bicycle, a good cheap bicycle. You know, you don't want one that's going to fall, fall apart the moment you try to ride it. But it depends on how rough you are on your bicycle too. If you're rough with it... You're probably going to need a uh, probably a higher type of uh, or more expensive type of bicycle that can actually withstand some different things. But it also depends on the type of mat uh, material or metal material that your bicycle is made of, and also how it's designed. How it's designed and how, what material is what metal material is made of can also be a big difference. Such as my bicycle is aluminum. It is 60, 61 volts of aluminum. There's more than just aluminum type of bicycles. Aluminum is actually a popular kind, the most popular kind, but it's not the only kind that there is. But it also depends on what you're uh, using the bicycle for. So there are such things, excuse me, there are such things as aluminum, which is what my bicycle is. There's also steel bicycles or steel bicycle frames. Those are the heaviest of the heavies. Those things can withstand pretty much anything you throw at it. So you do the, if you want to do the maximum damage or maximum effort of damage, then Steel frame bicycle, there you go, you're good to go. You can jump hills and make it crash and whatnot, and it should still be intact in one piece. Keyword being should be, I can't make any promises. And there's also titanium, which is the lightest of metals and the lightest of bicycles. And of course, it's also going to be the lightest against the wind as well. But um, it, it's also, it also has bending points, and I don't really like bending points because if it's a bending point, that means it's got a break point. And if it's got a break point, and sometimes down the road, it's probably going to break on you. And there's also um, a different kind, too. There's aluminum, oh, carbon fiber. There's carbon fiber for um, bicycles as well. And, well, I'm not a really big fan of carbon fiber. It looks awesome. The design looks awesome. But that also has a bending point as well. And because it has a bending point, it also has a break point. So I prefer myself to have aluminum or steel. But out of both of those, I prefer aluminum. It's just the easiest to work with in my opinion, and by my experience. However, I'm not experienced in titanium or carbon fiber bicycles. I've never owned one, and I've never touched one before. So, I don't know any bicycle shops that actually have those, for the most part in my place, or my area, rather. But they have mainly aluminum and steel, so I go with aluminum. That's the second lightest, but it's a lot stronger than titanium, in my opinion. Again, not that I've experienced, but just in my opinion, so... Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and watching this, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. And we'll have some more uh, things going on. You're just going to have to wait and see. So, I'm really happy for my purchase. I'm really glad I bought this bike a long time ago. It's a really good bike and whatnot, so by my experience and my opinion, even a $200 bike can do some good. You don't need a $1,000 bike again. So, um, then again, two ages zone. But this is based on my opinion and my experience. And I don't regret a thing. So, anyways, love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you all. And uh, love and peace until next week.